Hey guys. Hello. So we've got some disturbing news. Besides us? <laughs> right. Um, the four of us here have all been exposed to COVID. Possibly exposed. Possibly. Well. What do you say? Uh, uh, theoretically, um, possibly. No, we've been exposed. Yeah, all right. There's no possibly. We've been exposed. Okay. Okay. And we don't want to get into details of how, where, what, or why. Um, but We're both Kevin and I are um, compromised because Kevin's over 60 and I have no immune system whatsoever. So we're pretty scared. Um, I don't know uh, what's going to happen from here. I know Kevin and I have an appointment with the doctors next week. So we're going to ask to be tested. Uh -huh. um, I think Sarah and Ian are going to be getting tested. I'm not sure. Um, but right now, uh, Sarah's quarantining upstairs, Ian's quarantining in his room, I'm quarantining in my room. Kevin is going to be the only one moving around outside of his room throughout the house. We have uh, bleach um, spray bottles and stuff to spray everything down and keep everything clean um, as possibly, as clean as possible, you know to try not to spread it if, if one we have, has yeah. it and one doesn't and so on and yeah. so forth. So we're taking all precautions necessary. Um, if any of us go out of our rooms, masks and gloves are to be worn. Um, we only have the one bathroom, so we have to clean it every time we're done using it. And uh, yeah, that's about it right now. And, uh, Yay! <laughs> COVID so, come to town. Sounds yeah. like a horror film. Yeah. And it's, you know, I know everybody, it affects everybody differently. So symptoms I may have may or may not be from COVID. Some people, my friend Lori is in the hospital. She tested positive for COVID. She was in the hospital for something completely different. She has, she's asymptomatic. Right. But she has COVID. Mm -hmm. So they, they're keeping her in the hospital because she's there anyway. So they're going to keep her. Right. They're not going to send her home. Yeah. You know, so they're going to keep her in the hospital for the full 14 days. So, <sighs> you know, it, it's, it's, it's scary. It really is because you don't know who has it and who doesn't because of, they can be asymptomatic. Yeah, we've been lucky and, for months now. Yeah. We've, you know, since the beginning of this, we've taken it seriously, but really hasn't been in town until this last week. Two weeks. Last two weeks, suddenly, boom. Yep. The, um, and, you know, by you can be sick, and by the time you start showing symptoms, you've spread it. Yeah, that's the problem. That's what makes it so contagious. Mm -hmm. is the incubation period is, is pretty long, two, yeah. two weeks. Yeah. So, you know, people that come here and visit us, you know, not saying they brought it to us or anything, but somebody just in town here that could have had it been at my house and, you know, transferred it. Or, you know, when we went down to the Christmas loft, Right. In the Halloween store with my sister, you know, we could have picked it up there. We don't know. All we know is that all of us have been exposed. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, also worries me about the animals because this one's been coughing a lot and dogs can catch it. And he seems to be in good health otherwise, though. I think so, but it's still scary. Yeah, it's you know? it's all just scary. We're all kind of panicking, and uh, we're going to be locked inside for the next two weeks, basically. Yeah. Except me, I have to go buy food. So. And we have doctor's appointments next week. You yeah. Know? What do we do? Do we go? 
Uh, Do we call her and tell her this and then she just sends us for a test? I think it's possible that we should probably call down two weeks and tell them that we have possibly been exposed and maybe they'll set us up with tests tomorrow. I don't think she's going to want to see us. No, I don't think she will. And we've been trying to see this doctor for forever. So, yeah, so tomorrow is Saturday, right? Yeah. Today's so, Friday? Yeah, if you're going to call, I don't know what time it is. It's still, it's before. Um, it's before 5, so if you want to call, okay. I would do it sooner than later because they're going to be closing up soon. I don't even know if she's in the office, so. Right. But. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, anyway... I think that's going to be it for the day. I'm, I got a pounding headache. I'm very stressed out at this point and just tired. So. Alrighty. So. Are you done? You yeah. Want to say anything? Yeah, let's just, this is just all we're putting up today. Um, I don't know what we're doing in the next couple of days. Probably not much. So, let's see what happens. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Hugs, kisses, peace out. Hopefully we'll have better news tomorrow.